Hi everyone, it's me, David. I hope you're having a great day. And here is today's philosophical point. Must you accept what you cannot control? In a series of videos, I'm talking about the distinction between what is up to us and what is not up to us, otherwise translated as what is in our control and what is not in our control. This distinction of, is of great practical importance for Stoicism, and not just for Stoicism, because many people who have never even heard of Stoicism make use of this distinction to deal with situations that they face. And I'm speaking in particular today about the things that are not in our control. I'm worried about something happening. I'm worried about being impacted by something in my neighborhood, in my society, at my job, in a social situation. And by seeing that the thing I'm worried about is not in my control, I put things in a true perspective true to the realities of my situation, and this can often help me even immediately when I do so. Now, many people say that you must accept what you cannot control, and I don't think that this is true. So I would say the answer to my question is no. And I think you'll agree with me if you do one thing look at the first eight sections of Epictetus' Zenchiridion because there's a number of, way, number of ways of regarding what is out of our control. There's a number of ways of handling what is out of our control, and acceptance is one of them. So here's, and I'll give you a reason why you should look for other ways of dealing with what's out of your control, because you can accept something that is mentally, you can come to terms with something, but yet you still resist the fact. You still are upset about it. You still resent what someone did even many years later, even though you say to yourself, you've accepted it. Uh, so I'll speak a little more about acceptance in a moment when I talk about a, what I think is a better alternative and one that's truer to Stoicism. But sure, you can accept what's out of your control. What, all the, what are the alternatives? One alternative, which is actually one of my favorites, is you can ignore the thing that is out of your control. Just look at the beginning of the Enchiridion. If, if there's some harsh appearance, what that appearance represents, you can simply say, it is nothing to me. And there are other things that the Stoics say that indicate that they're talking about ignoring it. And here's one that I think will be quite helpful to you. You don't like the situation politically. The administration is doing things that you think are very unwise. And you can search the internet, you can find support for your view, you can gather up all your facts, but what are you doing in this whole process? Yes, you might be becoming knowledgeable about current events, but you're really upsetting your life. You're making things worse for you. And you could see that with some people now. You certainly saw it during the Trump administration when just one after he was elected, it was reported that many people said they were going to see a therapist. So here's an alternative for current events that are happening and you don't like, you don't like them at all. And the more you find out, the worse you feel. Here's the thing to do, ignore it. Yes, there are features of the current situation which are gonna impact you, but let's reduce their, let's reduce their impact by ignoring the whole thing. Also, when we're talking about what someone does or says to you, a great way to deal with it is simply to ignore it. And then you don't even have to get to the stage where you try to form the proper judgment of it. But if you think, well, I should work on accepting it, then you're just 
reintroducing that situation into your life. You should get it out of your life as soon as possible, and that is a great value of ignoring it. Lastly, look at number eight in the Enchiridion. Do not seek to have events happen as you wish them to, but wish them to happen as they actually do, and your life will go well. Now, this is where the sto Stoicism is at its high highest level of attainment, and it's true that only someone who is of sage level consciousness can consistently do this, which is welcome every event in your life. But you can do it for some things. When something happens that you don't want to happen, try welcoming it into your life. Uh, another way of putting this is surrender to the fact of the matter. Just accept it and bring it into your life. And I did, I did it, I said acceptance. So when you welcome something into your life, when you surrender to it, this is where you have wholehearted acceptance, not that kind of acceptance that people have, which involves some, resi some level of resistance. Work on wholehearted acceptance, or as I would prefer to say, surrender to the situation, surrender to the universe as a whole, and then concern yourself with what's my next step. So those are some different ways you can deal with the things that are out of your control. Try them out. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, check out what I do below, and have a great day. It's up to you.